Facebook friends. Hello, little artists. Are you guys ready to go ahead and create art with me today? My name is Georgie and I want to welcome you guys to the um, Easter Art Workshop. So today we are going to create a beautiful Easter bunny balloon. I know lots of you guys are sitting at your table at home you are ready with your art supplies i'm going to go ahead and go through those in a minute with you but the first thing i want to know is what is your name and how old are you where are you coming from do you want to go ahead and put that in the comments i am wondering which part of australia you are sitting at your table creating art with me today i am in um victoria i'm in a place called the mornington peninsula and we are on school holidays which is pretty good. I'm thinking you guys must be on school holidays if you are joining me today as well. So go ahead and write your name in the comments and how old you are because I always love to give you guys a big shout out because I know some familiar names and I think we have Zali and Van from New South Wales. Hello. I feel like you guys might have joined in before. We have Coco and crew. I definitely know you guys from Perth. Alyssa is eight. Hey, Alyssa. Nick and Emily are here and John T from Queensland. Oh, that must be nice and warm. Hey there, Zoe. And I think it's Camaray from Sydney. Annabelle's here. So is Lily and Kyra from Melbourne. Haley, hey there, Haley. Georgia from Warrnambool. And we have Albie, who is six from Adelaide. Maya is here. Hey, Heidi and um, Sashki, Sashkia. Oh, I always say that wrong. But hello, beautiful girl. Um, Coco is eight. Crew is six. Lottie is six from the Mornington Peninsula. <gasps> Lottie, we must be super close. Hey, Kate and Isabel. Ruby is here as well. So is Ella. Evie and Harry are back again. Hello, you three. Zoe, Eliza, Ella and Ollie from Mount Martha, which is kind of around the corner. It is so fun to have heaps of you guys jumping online to do art these holidays. We have Caprice and Amalia from New South Wales. Don't you think it's great we can be all around the country and still do fun art? or anything online. Orlando is here. So you know what, guys, when I say hello to Vivian and um, Lucas and Victor, um, I see Parker Kalani. Yes, I think I remember you guys too. A lot of you have created art with me today. So in a moment, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. And then we're going to go through the art supplies and create this one. Can you see what we are doing today? A very cute little bunny i'm wondering if you're wearing bunny ears like me sitting in a balloon and this is the fun bit you guys get to design um patterns colors up here in your balloon so you might want to think about that as we are getting ready today what are you going to put inside your balloon today we have elliot who is joining us and catherine catherine is four fantastic catherine um one of the fun things that I like to do in the school holidays is jump online and do art with you guys. So we are going to do three projects this week. I'm going to go through all three. We have somebody's jumping on with little bunny ears and Evie is jumping on. She is five years old. Can I tell you something else that I want you to remember this lesson? One of the fun things I love to see is the artwork that you create. So I want you to remember when you're done is to take a photo of yourself holding it. And do you know why? At the end of this week, me and a few other beautiful mums are going to select some winners to win something really cool. Can you have a look at this just here? This is something my two-year-old did. She did finger painting and we turned it into a sticker. It is like it's as if it's in a photo frame. And look at this. It is a sticker. I can remove it. I can put it on my wall above my bed. I can put it in my lounge room. It's called a wall decal and it's created by a beautiful brand called Scribbly. So guess what? If you take a photo of your art in the comments, you can go into the chance to win a wall sticker of your art. It is amazing. You don't even have to put it in a frame. You can stick it wherever you want. So we have a first place. You get four stickers. 
a second place, gets two. And I always reply to every single message because I think you guys are all fantastic. Jumping on, creating art. Everybody is super amazing at their artworks that they post every single time. I want to say hi to Charlotte and Mackenzie. Welcome back, you two. Cousin Ollie are jumping on. We have Jess from Perth. I'm so excited to Jess. Um, and another little artist has said they have bunny ears on. So I want you to give me a thumbs up. I can't see you, <laughs> but I can kind of feel. Give me a thumbs up if you are ready to get started on our lesson today. I think I'm feeling like you guys are ready. I am going to go through the art supplies and we're going to create some artwork. So this is our project. We are doing a bunny balloon. I want you to hold up your paintbrush. This is our beautiful tool that we're going to be using for our artwork. I have my paints here. These are watercolor paints. I've got lots of beautiful colors. So whatever paints you have are going to be perfect with your paintbrush. I've got my water jar as well ready to go. And you guys can use either oil pastels or crayons, either one. And that's what we're going to start with. Oil pastels or crayons are perfect. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, take my lid off. I am ready to grab my black oil pastel or my black crayon. That's what I want you to have. Hold it up for me. I can feel if you guys are ready. Can you see how big mine is? I've used it so much. It's super tiny. Let's go ahead and start. Now, I had a question. Some people have watercolors like this in a pan, and some people have watercolors in a tube. So the thing is, if you have a tube, you only need the tiniest amount of paint from a tube because they spread really well. So you want to get a plate. Um, or a um, paint tray and squeeze out when we get to it a few of your favorite colors. That is fine if you want to go with tubes. Okay, let's start. <laughs> Grab your black oil pastel or your black crayon and I want you to go ahead and we're going to put a circle here for the bunny's face. So the thing is, I like to measure with my hand. Put your hand at the bottom of the page right in the middle I'm going to spread it. If you're, if you're four or five, you might want to spread yours out a little bit. I have big hands. So you want to spread your hand out a little bit. And this is where the bottom of the little bunny face is going to go. So you know what? I might even spread it out really big. I'm almost halfway at, the, at my page. I'm going to put a little dot where my finger is. So I've spread my hand out really big. If you're super tiny, it's got to be super big. And here I go. I'm going to draw a circle round, down, down. It is not a perfect circle. We are doing the bunny's face. Bunnies have kind of little cheeks. So if it's wonky, I actually kind of like it a bit better. So look at this. I put my hand really big. My little finger is at the top of my little bunny face. What do bunnies have? If you're wearing ears, that's what we want to do next. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got one ear coming up, 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 and around. Wobbly ear. You might want to do a floppy ear or it might be poking up. I think this one might even go a little bit out to the side. Up, 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 and around. Okay. I have a face. I have two ears. I think we could go ahead. Eyes, nose, whiskers. That's what I want you guys to do now. So these are really easy. I'm going to draw a black dot for one eye and a black dot for another. And let's go ahead and put a cute little nose. That's what's sort of iconic about little bunnies. They have a cute little nose. And I think like a little um, smile is coming out of this little bunny nose. Have you guys got that? So at this point, if it didn't have the ears, it might be like a bit of a teddy. So let's put some whiskers on. And then once you've done that, give me a thumbs up in the comments if you are ready to move on. Here I go. Whisker, whisker, whisker. 
and whisker, whisker, whisker. Who is ready for the body and the little pause? Give me a thumbs up if that is what you want to do next. We are going to go ahead and put his little shoulders on, his little bunny paws, and he's going to be sitting in a basket. I have a question. Have you guys ever been in a hot air balloon like this bunny? Like really super high in the sky? I have not. <laughs> I would get really scared to do that. It's too high for me. But have you? Have you ever been in a hot air balloon? Because in Melbourne, they do it quite a lot. Okay, you're telling me you're ready. So let's check this out. Watch me first. I'm going to start at one side of the bunny's face and do a little curve line. I'm going to do a curve line from the other side of the face and down. He's got two little shoulders. Now, I want you to put two little bunny um, bunny paws, okay? And you know what? If you guys um, ever get a little behind or we're going too fast for you, all you got to do is let me know. But you can also kind of see the next step. So you can just imagine yourself doing the next step. There's no reason to get kind of super worried about not um, doing the same thing we're doing. You can totally see what we is coming up okay a little bunny paw looks like this i'm going to do an upside down u just here it's touching the little shoulder i'm going to go bump 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 for a little paw okay let's do that on the other side over here upside down u it touches the shoulder i'm going to go bump 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 he is ready to hold on to something. And that something is going to be our basket. Okay, I am ready to do a basket. Look at this. You can do a bumpy line or you can do a straight line for the basket. I'm starting over here. I'm going to do a little line through the paw, jump over the paw, line, 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 jump over the paw, little line. I'm coming down, across, 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 and up. It looks a bit like a rectangle. So that's the top of this little basket. Now, if he's holding on to something, this is what you can do. I'm going to start at one side. I'm going to go down, across, and up. Do you reckon you can do that too? Let's finish this basket. I'm going to go down, across, and up. Okay, I have a bunny sitting in a basket. And I'm going to pause for one little minute here. If you are still doing your bunny in the basket, go ahead and keep um, drawing that one. If you have already got it, I'm going to grab like a brown oil pastel or crayon. And do you know what I could do? Is I could just draw some lines across my basket like this and then I could draw some lines from the top to the bottom so that's kind of making it look like it's woven they're not all the same length you could make them the same length if you like but I'm just going to put a few lines to kind of suggest that it's a woven basket these are optional you don't have to do them um, if you're not ready for it another optional thing if you want to put a little line from the top of the head to the nose to make a little section down the middle of your bunny, that's a fun thing to do. You might even want to put some little dashes with your oil pastel. Mine's brown. You could do gray. Maybe your bunny's pink. You could put some little dashes. These are like hairy little dashes on your bunny, just like that. Um, let's see. Maybe I'm going to start up at the top of the head and I'm going to draw a line down, down, down to the nose. I'm going to start at the top of the head. I'm going to draw a line down, down, down to the nose. Maybe I could paint that a different color. So there are just some options to go ahead and add some oil pastels or crayons to your bunny. So now that we have our bunnies, can you give me a thumbs up if you are ready for the big balloon? And the, the big balloon up here, it takes up most of the paper. So it's pretty big. 
And the thing about circles is when you draw them freehand, it's really hard to make a perfect circle. So I don't want you to try and make it look perfect. I just want a really big round shape. Who is ready to go ahead with the balloon? Give me a thumbs up if you are ready for that line that we're about to draw. And you know what I want you to do is get your finger and practice first. I always practice my big circles. So I'm going to start right at the top of the page, right in the middle with my finger. Okay, I'm not touching the top, I'm just below. And here I go. I'm going to come down, 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 around, around, around. I'm going to jump over the bunny's head and then I'm going to come up, 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 up and connect. I think we're going to do that twice. Can you do that a few times? Let's go from up here. Around, down, 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 down. Jump over the bunny's head, around the other side and back up. When you do it with your hand, it kind of gets the idea of where our marker needs to go. Let's do it. Here I go around, down, coming towards the bunny's head. I'm going to jump over. I'm going to come to the other side of the bunny's head, up, 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 and connect. Okay. <laughs> Is mine perfect? Mm -mm, I don't think so. It's a little wonky, but you know what? I don't mind because I'm going to add patterns and color, and it's going to look beautiful. So one thing we can try. <laughs> I'm going to give you two options. You can draw lines from one side of your um, balloon to the other, just like this. We're going to go sections. Option one. Option two, you can draw lines from the top down, 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 down. So they're long sections. You've got two options. Choose which one that you would like to do. I'm going to go with the ones across. So I'm going to start from one side, curve my line, touch the other. Leave a gap, curve my line, touch the other side. Curve my line, touch the other side. So I want to know, are you doing horizontal sections or vertical? Vertical sections are from top to bottom. Horizontal are from left to right. Two big words that we can learn today, horizontal and vertical. Okay, there we go. I have sections for my bunny balloon. What did you do? Horizontal or vertical sections? You can put that in the comments, horizontal or vertical. And I have just realized my basket does not attach to my balloon. So we're missing a few lines. That's my question. Oh, um, horizontal sections or did you do vertical ones? Let me know in the comments what did you do for your balloon and you know what, once you've done it, let's see. I'm going to draw a line from my basket, connect to the balloon. And from my basket, connect to the balloon. Now the balloon can't fly away. Okay, little artist said horizontal. That's like me. They're going to be fun to add patterns to. Did you do horizontal or vertical? I want you to tell me what did you guys do? Another little artist did horizontal. I kind of got that idea from um, an Easter egg wrapper. I thought they would, they would look really good, kind of like my chocolate Easter egg. Lots more did horizontal. Fantastic. Now, boys and girls, we are ready to put our black um, oil pastel away. Put it in here, and I want you to choose one of your favorite colors. I'm going to go ahead and choose some pink. And in every section, we're going to do a different pattern. Jess chose horizontal, lots across. Someone did horizontal, brother did vertical. Lots of um, across or horizontal. Well done. I think they're going to look great. Isabel did wiggly lines, wiggly patterns. Good job, all of you. Choose your favorite color oil pastel. I would like to see a different pattern in each of these sections. So that wiggly lines from Isabel, I'm just going to choose a section. Isabel's given me some inspiration. I'm going to go wiggly, 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 wiggly. What are you going to do? What about polka dots? What about crisscross? What about stars, hearts? 
Um, maybe you could do some big thick lines. Maybe you could do little suns. What pattern are you going to do? I'm starting with wiggly lines. Here we go. I'm definitely going to put polka dots on. I'm going to do wiggly lines in one. And the color I'm cho choosing is not a light color. It's like a really bold pink because I'm going to paint over the top and I really want this oil pastel to be seen with my paint over the top. Okay, wiggly lines. I'm going to jump into polka dots. I had polka dots all over my previous art studio. So I definitely, or well, everybody knows who is in my art club, they know that I love polka dots. Here are my big polka dots. What pattern are you putting in yours? Wiggly lines, polka dots. Is anybody doing some stars? Wouldn't that be fun to see a hot air balloon in the sky full of beautiful stars or the patterns that we are creating today? I definitely think um, checkered or crisscross. Maybe someone's going to go ahead and do some love hearts. Mine are really big, bold polka dots today for this section. And I think maybe some swirls could be fun too. So what we're doing now is choosing some really bold colors with our oil pastels or crayons. And we are filling each section with a different pattern. Fill it up as much as you can. Um, let's see, um, swirls for me. What color should I use? I've got a really bright green. I'm going to do some bright green swirls. What have you got going on in yours? I'm going to start in this section. I'm going to come up, around, and down, up, around, and down. These swirls are going to go all the way across. And I really love that pattern. So I'm going to do that again with my dark blue. But maybe I'm going to do it smaller. I'm going to do some smaller swirls. Now someone is doing a rainbow color scheme and lots of different mixed up patterns. Now remember everybody, we're not coloring in our whole um, balloon with our oil pastels. We're just doing patterns because we are gonna paint over the top. So lots of swirls, they're like little mini swirls in this little section. Um, maybe some stripes could be fun. Can somebody give me an idea of what I should do up here? What have you put in your balloon? What could I do as well? I need a different option up here for my little bunny balloon. I've got an orange, so maybe in this part I could do some lines from one side to the other, just like this. But I want you guys to suggest what I could do up here in this section. What have you done? I've got lines from one side to the other. And maybe I'm going to do from top to bottom. So it's sort of like checkered pattern over here, just like this. Any ideas of what? Someone said stars. Love hearts. Zoe said love hearts. Very cool. Zigzags are another great idea. Do you know what? I think I'm actually going to go with zigzags. Thanks for suggesting that. Half moon shapes is a beautiful option too. The reason I'm going to go for zigzags is it's not very big and drawing stars and little hearts is a little tricky. So here's my zigzag up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down for my zigzags. I think I am ready to paint. I have patterns everywhere all over my balloon. I really wish I could see this in real life in the sky. If you have finished also, put your lid on your oil pastels or crayons. And I want you to tell me if you are finished because we are going to go ahead and jump into some colors. I'm going to go ahead and do my, um, let's see, my, should we do our bunny or our balloon first? I think we're going to go ahead and do our bunny first and then jump up to our balloon and our background. So the choices for bunny are any color. Your bunny does not have to be brown. It can be absolutely any color that you like, okay? You can have a pink bunny. 
You could have a gray bunny. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> and if you're not finished, I think that is totally fine because you're going to take your time creating your beautiful patterns and just have a look at how we're painting our bunny. So I think my bunny is going to be a light color. I did a chocolate brown bunny over there and maybe I might reverse it. I'm going to choose one of these kind of light orangey browns. That's what color my bunny is going to be. What color are you doing? I hope we have some pink bunnies because you can see I've got pink ears, so maybe someone's going to do a pink bunny. I want you to hold your paintbrush up. Let me know that you're ready. Dip your paintbrush in the water and spin it around your little paint disc 10 times. Count. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. That means I've got quite a lot of strong paint on my paintbrush. If you're using tubes, you squeeze a tiny little bit out on your plate, grab a little bit of water, and touch the paint on your plate. Okay. Here it goes. I'm doing a, a kind of caramel brown. And boys and girls, you can go straight over the top of your oil pastels and you will still be able to see them. That is why we love using oil pastels and crayons together, okay? We never use like pencils or markers with watercolor paints because we wouldn't be able to see our drawings, but with oil pastels and crayons, we can. I'm jumping up here to <clears throat> my little bunny ears and I have a beautiful caramel colored bunny. I'm wondering, do you have a caramel colored bunny at your house? In your backyard? When I was little, I did. And do you know what? When I was little, I had bunnies. I had two bunnies. And one day I walked out to the bunny hutch and guess how many bunnies I had? I started with two. I walked out to the bunny hutch. I lifted up the lid where all the hay was and there were seven baby bunnies. There were seven. And I quickly realized the bunnies that I had, one was a boy and one was a girl. I did not know that before. So I had to take the boy out and let the mum stay with all the little seven baby bunnies. They were super cute. And they're just as cute as the bunny you are painting today. I love to hear that we have a pink bunny being painted. Wow, that's going to look great. I have a brown bunny and I am going to do a basket. And you know what? I'm going to do a pink basket. So if you are ready for your basket, wash your paint color. And let's go ahead and paint your basket. It could be dark brown. You could do pink basket or blue, any kind of color basket. You think that might be fun. I'm kind of doing a pink basket. And let's see. Isabel told us she's had two litters of baby bunnies. Oh, they are the cutest. I kind of want another one <laughs> in my backyard. I think my little, um, my little girl would love a pet bunny. I'm going to go ahead, jumping down here, and paint my little bunny basket. This is pink as well. So I'm looking forward to hearing what kind of color are you doing. Ollie has got a rainbow bunny. You know what? I cannot wait to see that, Ollie. So you guys remember what I said. At the end of the lesson, you definitely want to go ahead and take a photo of holding your artwork. Put it in the comments. I always reply to every comment. And you could go in the running to win your art as a wall decal. Okay, what have I forgotten? This little section. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Every time I'm washing out my paintbrush and I'm just kind of having a look what kind of color might be good, I'm going to do this really light kind of creamy color um, in this little section of my bunny. Maybe Isabel had some little bunnies in a litter like this kind of color. Now I think we, when I had bunnies, I had um, black and white and brown. They were really great, all different colors. So I have finished my bunny and my basket and now I'm up to all my rainbow colors. 
for my balloon. Where are you guys up to? Are you ready to jump up here? And let's start working our way down with some really bright, fun colors. Remember, if we saw this in the sky, it's got to stand out and be super bold and happy. So I'm lucky that I've got these really kind of fluoro colors on my paint palette. I think I'm going to try and do heaps of fluoro colors. So my first one is green. I'm grabbing some water. I'm spinning around my paint disc 10 times. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got a really strong green. And I'm going to go straight over the top. Now, you know what? I had dark green oil pastel zigzags. So I'm not going to choose dark green paints because it wouldn't stand out. I'm going to choose a color that's going to help that oil pastel pattern really stand out. So I've got a dark zigzag and a really bright green. Now I have... Um, a lime green oil pastel pattern. So I think I'm going to choose a really bright yellow and I think that would help that stand out. I'd love to know what colors have you decided to put on your balloon? Are you going to do bright fluoro colors like me? Are you doing rainbow colors? Are you kind of doing lots of warm colors? like yellows and oranges and pinks. What is your color scheme? Because as a little artist, that's a decision that you get to make that makes you different from everybody else. And these patterns are a decision that you get to make that's different from everybody else. And that's how we create art that is totally unique to you. No one else can do the same thing. That's why I love creating art so much. Okay, I've got green. I've got bright yellow. We have Zoe has got a pink bunny and rainbow balloon. That already makes me happy. Zoe, those colors sound really fun. I'm going to do um, a purple on top of my pink Let's see what that looks like. And I'm spinning my little paintbrush around lots and lots and lots to go over the top just like this. So my paintbrush strokes are going left to right, left to right because my um, sections in my balloon are horizontal. If you did vertical, you would go up, down, up, down. Okay, left to right, left to right. Now, guys, after our... our beautiful Easter egg inspired balloon. We will do some backgrounds. And I wonder if this is the first time that you've created art with me. You might not have ever done a little background like that with all those painted brush strokes. So I'm really excited to show you how to do a background like that and just show you that you don't have to color the whole thing in. Sometimes it's nice to leave areas of white. Okay, I have big blue spots, and if I choose like this orange, my blue spots are going to pop off the page. You're going to be able to see them really clearly looking up into the sky. So I'm just going to spin my paintbrush around and go ahead. I don't need to go over the spots really because they're super big, so I'm just going to wiggle my paintbrush in between and get this section done. I'm thinking about what is my next color. And I think I might go ahead and jump back to that fluoro green that I did at the top. What color are you painting right now? Have you got a specific color on your paintbrush right now that you can share with me that you're painting on your huge bunny balloon? I love hearing all the colors. Sometimes I never know what to pick and you guys always help me with your suggestions. What color have you guys got on your paintbrush right now for your bunny balloon? I'm about to wash it out and I'm about to go ahead and get some green. We have pink on a paintbrush. We have yellow on a paintbrush, bright green on a paintbrush. They sound great. We have dark blue 
coming onto a paintbrush and about to be painted on their balloon. All the rainbow colors. How great are these going to look when you post a photo? Okay, my bright green is going on. What color have you got? I've got my swirls in dark blue and I have bright green paint going over the top. We are nearly ready to move on to the background pretty soon. And we have a pink from Ollie. We've got green coming as well. Pink is a pretty popular color today. Well, I'm happy about that. You can see I love pink. I'm wearing pink and I've got pink ears. <laughs> kind of a favorite of mine. Okay, here is my green. And I'm up to the last section in my balloon, okay? So after I um, finish off my last section, what we're going to do is get fresh water for our background. So if someone is there with you creating, you can say, hey, grab me a jar of water, please, because we're going to use fresh water for our background. Here I go. Blue is the very last section here. Blue on top of my um, orange crisscross pattern. And I want to tell you that at this point in our project, once I finish this balloon, you know what? You could actually leave the project like this and it would still look great. So sometimes in our classes, you don't want to go to the next step because you're tired um, or you've just had enough or your paints run out. So if you wanted one day, you could do this and just leave it. But I'm going to show you the next step to add details all around. Okay. But there's always that option in art. If you want to just have a break, you can always go ahead and do that. Okay, we have bunnies. So I think Mackenzie um, or Charlotte said <laughs> their bunnies might look like puppies. Who cares? Puppies are cute. I love puppies in little balloons. And that could be, um, it could be because of the shape of the ears that they might look like puppies. But if, they, if it is a puppy and you and want to make it a puppy, maybe you could add like a little puppy tail and officially make a little puppy in a balloon. So boys and girls, my water is yuck. It is brown. It is not okay to keep painting with because it's going to make our colors all bright, yucky and brown. So I'm going to wash my paintbrush and get fresh paint, um, fresh water. I've got fresh water here for my background. And that is what we are about to do next. So go ahead, grab fresh water. And we actually need an oil pastel color for some clouds. So that's what I want you to do is grab a color for some clouds. I had blue ones over there. Um, today, let's see, I might do <clears throat> some like um, maybe now I'm trying to think what kind of color clouds I want. I'm going to do some yellow and red and orange dashes. So maybe I'm going to do purple clouds. I've got a color. What color are you going to go ahead and use for your clouds? I've got purple. I've got an oil pastel. And let's put some in the background around. So they're going to go off the page a little bit. Let's maybe draw one here starting at the side. Bump, 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 bump. Kind of goes off the page. I've got one cloud. Maybe down here off the page. Bump, 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 bump. So put some clouds. They can be any color. I don't mind what color you choose. Yellow clouds are a great idea. Here is a um, cloud, maybe that whole one you can kind of see. They're pretty small. Some are kind of fluffy and fat. Maybe some are fluffy and skinny. I could, I've got space up here to do another one. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five. Five is great. Five or six. I'm going to put one just here. Five or six fluffy clouds. That's all you need. And I'm going to put my oil pastel away. We do not need that. And we are going to go ahead and paint our clouds. So I have purple ones. Um, I, I saw yellow clouds, pink clouds. Pink is a really nice color because it's sort of like 
um, at night when you look at the sky at sunset. They can kind of be pink. And I am going to grab my purple color and go ahead and start painting inside my clouds. If that is you, I want you to do that as well. Let's paint our clouds first. And I'm just kind of making my paintbrush go in little circles so I can get right into the edges of those fluffy outlines. I have purple clouds and we have a little artist put heaps of clouds, eight clouds. So that is great as well. You don't need too many if you've got a big bunny. So if you're up to drawing your clouds, maybe go for five and go ahead and paint them. We're going to choose a few colors for our brush strokes in the background. And you can see on the little um, artwork example, I did blue, purple, and pink brush strokes. So I think it was like the colors at dusk in the sky, purples and pinks and the blue sky. So you could definitely go for those colors. You could just do light blue and dark blue brush strokes in the sky. I think today I'm going to do um, like pink, orange, and yellow. So it's like a sunrise. Maybe this little bunny has got up early and has hopped in his balloon for a sunrise ride. That's what they do a lot in Melbourne. Have you guys been in a balloon before? Have you been in a hot air balloon? I absolutely have not. I'm too scared to go. It is too crazy high for me, but maybe you love going up really high. <laughs> maybe you love that type of thing. Go on all of the rides at the showground. Maybe you climb heaps of trees and you get super high. <clears throat> That's a little scary for me. A few of you said no, you haven't as well. Okay, we've got seven clouds there too. I am washing my paintbrush and we are at the very final step of our beautiful bunny project. I just want you to take a look at it and just realize that you started with a totally blank page today. There was nothing on it. Can you check out what you created? Just have a look, smile, feel really happy and congratulate yourself because you started with a blank page and now it is full of beautiful art that you have done. So I'm gonna start with three colors. We have chocolate brown clouds for, with chocolate rain, just like Easter. That sounds delicious. I'm going to choose two or three colors, and I'm going to do some brush strokes in the background. My first colors, or all my colors, go really well together. So pink, um, orange, and yellow go really nicely together. They all are very beautiful, warm colors. So here I go. I've got some pinky red. This is what I want you to do. Grab a color on your paintbrush and go dash, 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 dash across your page from left to right, okay? Now, try and make your little dashes look really similar. Try and make them look all the same. If you have a different idea for your background, you could just paint it all one color if you wanted. That could look really good as well. There's definitely different options for your background. I just am gonna go ahead and show you these little painted dashes. So I have some um, pinky red and I'm practicing my brush strokes as I do this. We have blue colored strokes for Annabelle. That sounds excellent. You know, it's really hard to get these brush strokes very similar. Some might be long, some might be short. I just want you to concentrate on the amount of pressure you're putting on your paintbrush as it touches the page. And you know what? I'm going to swap now. I've got some pinky red. That looks good. I think I'm going to swap. I'm going to wash my paintbrush. And I'm going to swap into orange. That's my next color. Okay. And so the reason I'm doing little dashes is just to show you that you don't have to paint backgrounds all one color. You can definitely leave areas of white and it kind of looks really detailed when you do this. 
So I often will paint a background with heaps of bold, I'll paint a picture of heaps of bold patterns and then just kind of do little dashes in the background to finish it off. Okay, my I've got orange dashes. And then for the last section, I'm going to switch over to yellow. So it's like yellow, orange into red. What have you guys chosen for your background today? Have you got some sunset colors like me? We have chocolate colors like Easter chocolate. Super yummy. We have, I bet there's some rainbow. And I heard there was some blue as well. What kind of colors have you got for your beautiful Easter bunny balloon background? I'm nearly at the bottom of the page which means I'm going to switch over to my last color. And my last color is like a yellowy, goldy color. Okay, and my brush strokes, I'm trying to make them all the same size. So I'm washing out my paintbrush. I'm going to go ahead and jump into this goldy yellow. Boys and girls, we are nearly finished. Hasn't this project gone super quick? I want to come back tomorrow and paint again with you so you can absolutely come online tomorrow at the same time 10 a.m and i'm going to show you what we will create together tomorrow so don't leave just yet even if you're finished i'm going to go ahead do some little gold brush strokes to finish off my artwork and let me know where you are at have you finished painting your project today if you're still painting these brush strokes it's a really nice one to do and take your time and you've got heaps of time because I'm going to chat to you about some other art projects that we are going to do this week. We have colored, cold, cool color strokes from Annabelle. So cool colors are blues and purples and greens. That sounds awesome. We are nearly near the bottom from some of you. We've got red, orange, and yellow from Sophie. I can't wait to see these. I have nearly finished with some goldy yellow and Orlando has a sunset background. Fantastic. So Orlando, you're going to take a photo of that sunset background and send it to me. You can post your photo in the comments. Now, the, la the last thing I like to do is just take a step back, have a look. Is there anything I've missed? That is the last step as a little artist. You get to decide, is there anything that you have missed that you need to touch up? Maybe there's an area that needs a bit more paint. Maybe you've got a little more space for a few more brush strokes. I think I have finished. Does that mean you are nearly at the end as well? Okay, if that is you, let's wash our paintbrush. We could actually leave all our supplies set up nice and clean to come create tomorrow i've got my clean paintbrush i'm going to put a lid on my paints i am going to put it just here on the table so that we can do another project tomorrow boys and girls do you want to see what we are doing tomorrow this is our next project for easter art we have an abstract bunny this little guy here we are going to take some of the patterns we use today. We are going to put them in our abstract bunny and we are going to be using markers, crayons and paints in the background. So that is tomorrow. I can't wait for you guys to come and join in again. We have another lesson and I'm going to hold this one up. This one is on Wednesday. Take a look. We are going to create some veggies in a garden. We have our Easter bunny with his hole. Something's hiding inside his little Easter hole. Maybe they're Easter eggs. Maybe they're bugs. And this is um, going to be on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, you've got to sign up because it's on Zoom. That means I get to see your beautiful faces. So if you're in the art club, this lesson is included. So you'll get your email with your Zoom link. If you're not in the art club, you can buy this lesson in my shop and I send you the Zoom link to join. And the reason Zoom is fun is we get to see each other. I can see your face, okay? So that's what's happening this week. I have, you guys come join me tomorrow. 
same place. This one we are going to create together. This one on Wednesday on Zoom. Check it out in my shop. If you're in my art club, you're already included. And I can see someone has done a sunset, um, lots of pink. I cannot wait to see these. Can you go ahead, take a photo, put it in the comments, and I'm going to reply to every single one. You might even win a beautiful wall sticker of your art. You can put it on the wall. I had so much fun creating with you today. I have one last thing to show you. Inside my, inside my art club, I create art with a little artist. Lots of you guys are online today. I want to show some projects that are coming up inside the art club. These are video projects that you paint along with me. I was watching Madagascar. Have you seen that movie? <laughs> um, and there's that song where he sings, I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You know that character? Well, I thought we could do a project inside by Madagascar. So here is your lemur. It's coming to the art club. This one is a beautiful rainbow butterfly. I wanted to show you guys a few projects that are coming to the art club. We also have a big rainbow chameleon, like that book called Mixed Up Chameleon. So if you're in the art club, these ones are coming. If you want to sign up to the art club, um, you can take a look at that in the emails from um, your parents that I'm sending, or you can take a look online. I create art all the time with little artists just like this, and I love it. And I hope that you guys had a beautiful day creating with me this morning. I'm going to say goodbye in a moment. And what I want you to do is take a photo and put it in the comments. I can't wait to see them. I can't wait to gift um, a first prize and a second prize, some of these wall decals with the beautiful mums over from Scribbly wall decals. They are gifting these to you because we absolutely adore making sure you guys can stay creative and do art at home in the easiest possible way. Okay. Can you guys tell me, are you finished? Are you ready to take a photo? I cannot wait to see them. I'm going to say bye, but I'll be back tomorrow. So I'll see you here on Facebook at 10 a.m. I love that Haley said she loves doing this. I love doing it too, and I can't wait to see yours, Haley. I'm going to say see you later, everybody. I'm going to go ahead, check out all your beautiful photos that you post in the comments, and I'm going to reply to everybody. I'll see, see you later. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye, Mackenzie. Bye, Charlotte. <laughs> Bye, Oliver. Bye, Albie. Thanks for coming on. See you later there. Bye there, Pipper. See you tomorrow. Well done, Annie. It was so fun creating bunny art for you. And maybe you want to create a gift or make it as a gift for Easter. I'm going to be back tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.